Hi everybody and welcome to a new series of tutorials. In this video I'd like to introduce Chord Bud 2, the new AUV3 Chord MIDI sequencer. So it's a really cool addition as it allows you to create very quickly chord progression. As I normally do in the first video I give you an overview so you can easily and quickly get started with the new application. Um, I have some codes to give away so if you are interested please send an email to soundformore at gmail.com. So we are inside Cubase this time. So let's um, um, add a track and let's select a MIDI track. Okay, that's very nice and simple. Let's open here where it says MIDI effects. Let's add a, an effect and let's choose for uh, some chord bud 2. And here it is, it is actually loaded. So let's expand the view. So starting from the top, you see this part here, which allows you to create chord sequences. Um, this part here, which shows you the different scales, which of course then intervals and the corresponding notes. And you use these notes to create effectively chord starting from that notes. And then you have a settings underneath here where you can choose the key, different patterns, which you can change for a control change. Of course, you can clear uh, the chord sequence that you've just created and you can change the settings. So. Let's try it very quickly. So let's add, for example, an A minor chord. And as you can see, I just clicked on it and it appears there. So let's add a D minor, then an E minor, and then a G. So four chords, um, chord progression. So let's click on the A minor. As I do that, uh, you have additional options. Here you can refine what type of chord you have. Okay, and then you can choose if you want to add the S7, an additional 9, 11, etc, etc. You change the velocity of that chord as it plays, the octave up and down, you can choose the inversion. But you can delete the chord, change the key, have a preview or split it. So interestingly, if I say split, I can say split by 1 16th, and as you can see, it's split in four different parts. Let's choose, for example, E minor, and just say let's split these two. 1 8th and click down and there it is. So let's try and click play. Pretty cool, very, very easy. And as I said, you just click on a chord and you just say, all right, okay, I want to add a seventh there. There you go, done, very easy. Okay, so let's have a look now at the settings. So if you click on settings, this is what you have. You can change the CC for the, the pattern MIDI change, and you can change the MIDI channel, which you use to transmit, but you also can change the input behavior. So in this case, it says you add it to the end of the chord, but you can say add to next, replace, etc. So you have a different option. You can choose which chord progression to show, all of them, or a specific one. And if you know a bit of music theory, this should be familiar to you. Um, then, of course, you can choose the type of scale which you want to represent in the screen. So you can see uh, the, the major and the minor plus these additional scales selected. So in this case, if I don't want these, just uh, select them and uh, click done and they will disappear. So I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction. It is a very simple easy to use called uh, um, MIDI sequencer and I'm sure you will enjoy and um, if you use this in, in conjunction with the other apps like uh, Core, um, sorry, Step Bud 2 or uh, Rhythm Bud, you, you can create some amazing uh, MIDI chord progression. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.